Draymond Green might be a four-time NBA All-Star, but that doesn't stop refs from blowing the whistle on him. Here's Draymond Green's amazing lifestyle. Draymond Jamal Green was born to Mary Barbers and Wallace Davis on March 4, 1990 in Saginaw, Michigan. He went to Saginaw High School and then spent his college years balling out for the Michigan State Spartans. Fast forward to the 2012 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors drafted him and the rest is NBA history. Four rings later, Draymond has nothing left to prove about his skill in the game of basketball. But here's the thing, despite being a four-time NBA All-Star, he's got a knack for making an unpleasant scene on the court. Five times in 11 seasons, he's taken the crown for finishing first or second in technical fouls. Dang, some people just love the drama. Let's break down all of Draymond Green's major meltdown moments in the league. In 2013, Green was ejected from the NBA's Christmas Day game for elbowing Blake Griffin in the neck. And in 2016, Green was fined for kicking Steven Adams in the groin. Oh man! I don't even want to breeze, that's too strong blowing down there. I can't even imagine how painful it would be to be kicked by an NBA player. But that was just the beginning of the drama he got in 2016. In the NBA Finals that year, Draymond had a bone to pick with LeBron in Game 4. The two of them got into a tussle mid-court, with Green swinging his arm at LeBron's groin. Man, again with the groin stuff, Draymond, it's one thing to swing at a dude. The result? Green was suspended from Game 5, a move that some say cost the Warriors the championship that year. LeBron James led the Cavaliers from being down 3-1 to winning the championship, knocking off Golden State on its home court in a Game 7. In 2018, the Warriors handed Green a one-game suspension without pay, citing conducts detrimental to the team after he fought with his teammate Kevin Durant. During the final moments of a regular season game with the Clippers, Green grabbed a rebound. Despite Durant's call for the ball, Green chose to go coast to coast, navigating through traffic but ultimately resulting in a turnover. The Warriors missed, leading to an overtime loss. However, the real drama happened on the sidelines where Green and Durant were seen yelling at each other and arguing to the point that Klay Thompson had to get in between them and try to cool things down. Within minutes, coaches and players were surrounding them and Steve Kerr had to sit down in front of them to cool their jets, but that was just the end of the fight on the sidelines. Green and Durant kept arguing in the locker room after the game. Man, sometimes it's you and your team against the world, but sometimes it's you against your team. Draymond Green certainly thinks it is, which may explain why in the 2022-2023 preseason showed a shocking scene of Green punching his teammate Jordan Poole in the face. He wasn't suspended for this one, but I might have chosen a suspension over what he got because it was a $1 million fine. I don't care how mad I am, no one pissing me off is worth a million dollars. Fast forward to the 2022-2023 regular season and Draymond Green found himself in the penalty box again. But this time, it wasn't for picking fights with other teams or within his own team. His beast of burden was technical fouls. As the season rolled on, Green started setting records on the court, but not the kind you want. When he got his 16th technical foul in a game against the Clippers on March 15th, Adam Silver said, hold on, this ain't right. I think I need to get involved in this. According to the league's guidelines, hitting the 16th tech mark during the regular season triggers an automatic one-game suspension without pay. But had Green ever listened when the NBA tried to tell him to cool down? No. So now, let's fast forward again to the 2023-24 season, where Green found himself in the middle of another encore drama. The altercation happened between the Warriors and Timberwolves during an in-season tournament game. Less than two minutes into the contest, with a score of 0-0, Green charged at Timberwolves star center Rudy Gobert, putting him in a headlock. The referee blew the whistle, a sound Green is very familiar with, and Green, along with other two other teammates, was ejected for initiating the scuffle. All of this resulted in a five-game suspension for Green. You would think a five-game suspension would teach my dude his lesson? 
but on December 13th, 2023, Draymond managed to get ejected during his team's 119-116 defeat to the Phoenix Suns. During the third quarter, while being guarded, Green spun around and accidentally clocked Yusuf Nurchic in the face with his right arm. Now Green's usually quite unapologetic about stuff like this, but this time he showed a different side, apologizing to Nurchic. But he's found himself in so much hot water with the NBA that it's hard for them to take him seriously anymore. The officials reviewed the incident and declared it a flagrant two foul, hence an automatic ejection and indefinite suspension. And the fun part? It wasn't a see you later kind of situation. This time, Green has to meet the NBA certain league and team conditions before he can return to play. Hopefully he does. Tallying up his three suspensions along with a whopping 163 technical fouls, Green has to pay $1,260,100 in fines in his NBA career. Man, remember when LeBron was trying to break Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record for the most points scored? I think Draymond Green is trying to beat Karl Malone for the most technical fouls. He's already more than halfway there. Well, that's a lot. Despite the hefty bill for all those technical fouls, Green is somehow still rocking a solid net worth. As of 2023, Green's got a cool 60 million in the bank. Back in 2012, he started off his NBA journey as the 35th pick, and even though he had a fantastic run at Michigan State, the draft saw him slip to second round. Those early years in the league weren't exactly a cash shower. Green was pulling an average income of over 880000 in his first three seasons with the Warriors. But then came the game changer in July 2015, a shiny new 5-year $82 million contract with an average annual salary of $16.4 million. Fast forward to 2019 and he added another 4 year $100 million deal to stay with the Golden State Warriors. Now, while Green's NBA career earnings have soared past $155 million, he has given back to the NBA more than most players. Apart from his NBA earnings, Green's got a lineup of sweet endorsement deals with big shot companies like Gatorade, Foot Locker, Nike, 2K Games, raking in a cool $4 million for those gigs alone. But his financial game isn't just about NBA checks and endorsements. Back in his rookie days when he started with the Warriors in 2012, earning $850,000, Green played it smart and teamed up with advisors and hit his financial goals. And speaking of investments, Green's putting his money in different baskets. He's backing Smile Direct Club and looking to increase his stakes substantially. Plus, Green's invested in Performance Inspired, a line of supplements. In 2020, Green invested in Lobo 1707, a premium tequila company. Along with Green, LeBron is also an investor in the company. He's not just making moves on the court, he's playing a solid financial game off of it too. Sure, quite a sum of his money goes back to the NBA, but he still has a lot left over to make some baller moves. Draymond Green owns a mansion in the Los Angeles area of Brentwood. He purchased the house for a whopping $9.6 million. And that's not even the best part. The mansion was actually valued at $10.2 million, but Green was able to get the house at a steal price. The mansion was built in 2019 and is named Timeless Georgian Colonial. It's got all the bells and whistles from a sleek swimming pool to an outdoor kitchen that's basically a chef's playground. Inside, oh, just a grand living room and a room big enough to host a game night. And that's not all. Along with this mansion in Los Angeles, he's got a penthouse in San Francisco worth a solid $7 million. The penthouse has got four bedrooms and five bathrooms. It's practically a mini mansion in the sky. And the view, oh, forget about it, it's not just a view. It's a jetliner view of the city. So whether he's throwing down on the court or chilling in one of his luxury pads, Jermon Green's not just about hoops. Apart from living the high life in his massive Los Angeles crib, Jermon Green has a posh car collection. His go-to ride, the Mercedes G-Class, he's practically married to it. His Mercedes-Benz G-Class is valued at $131,750. Under the hood, the G-Class packs a punch with its 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine, boasting a wild 416 horsepower and 450 pounds per feet of torque. But that's not all. 
He has a garage full of electric beauties, including a slick S-Class coupe and a BMW i3 and i8. Now, the wallet-friendly star of his collection is the BMW i3. Clogging in at 44,450, it might not be the flashiest car on the block, but it's giving the VW e Golf and Ford Focus Electric some serious competition. Green's Garage is also home to a stunning BMW 18, but like, why have one BMW when you can like have two? With a price tag of 147500 it is easily the most expensive car in Green's collection. Fueled by a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline 3 and an electric motor, this bad boy blends futuristic design with top-notch performance. And let's not forget the S-Class Coupe by Mercedes-Benz, retailed at $122,750. The Mercedes-Benz S-Class Coupe is one of the best luxury sedans on the market. This fancy sedan packs a punch with its 4.7-liter turbocharged V8 engine, boasting 449 horsepower and 516 pounds per feet of torque. It even has 7-speed automatic transmission that accelerates from 0 to 60 in just 4.7 seconds. He's definitely turned heads cruising in with that perfect blend of luxury and performance. This guy might be a piece of work on the court, but deep down he actually has a good heart. Green kicked off his charity work by donating $3.1 to Michigan University, his alma mater. He's the first athlete to donate this large an amount to any university. The cash was used to build a new athletics building. By 2016, Green joined the first T to make a positive impact on underserved communities in Oakland and Hayward. In 2017, he got serious about ending racism by joining the advisory board of an organization called RISE, which uses sports to address racism and champion equality. He often wears their t-shirts with the slogan, Sideline Racism. With all the drama going on in his public life, I'm glad to know that his love life is smooth sailing. In fact, he's happily married to the gorgeous Hazel Renee Joyner. The couple met at Michigan State University when they were both still students. Before becoming an actress, Renee dabbled in modeling, music, and even reality TV. Their relationship didn't start right away as Green started playing in the NBA in 2012 while Renee was focused on her acting career. Fast forward to 2018 when she and Green confirmed their relationship. You know, that's pretty mature of them to wait until they both knew they were ready for that level of commitment. A year later, Green proposed to Renee on a helicopter ride over the ocean, and then they landed on a boat filled with flowers. Renee even posted a picture on Instagram showing off her sparkling engagement ring. They tied the knot in August 2022 and are currently expecting their second child together. And while Green might be one of the best at what he does, Renee had one bit of employment advice for him in July 2022. Cut back on the technical fouls. You should listen to your wife, Dre. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace.